This is part two, part two video of my run around Jacksonville. Another marker called a new continent. It's located in front of the landing. Normally this would be a very busy place, but it's about 8.30 in the morning and everything's currently closed. We come back about 11 o'clock and it's a pretty bustling place. It has about 20 or 30 restaurants in here and shopping. This is the Main Street Bridge, which is what I'm working towards in part two of this video. Main Street Bridge, I'm going to end up over there by the fountain. If you look over in the distance, you'll see the fountain. We'll end up there and then we'll back across the Acosta Bridge and then down to the west, we'll be heading over to the YMCA for a shower and a shave. So 8.30 in the morning. This is uh, the downtown of Jacksonville. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. At 8.30 in the morning. A little foggy this morning. I'll read the uh, marker to you. It says, Jean Revolt, who explored the St. John's River, led French Huguenots to northeast Florida. He kneels in prayer on what is now called Fort George Island after a safe voyage in 1562. It was Easter Sunday, 1513. San Juan Ponce de Leon, Spanish conqueror, explorer, and governor of Puerto Rico, anchored his ship near a quiet beach some 50 miles south of what is now St. Augustine, in command of a voyage to find new land and the mythical fountain of youth for his king. He mistook this lush land of flowering groves to be a large island and claimed it to be for Spain. He called it La Florida, the Feast of Flowers. So Florida stands for Feast of Flowers. It should stand for mosquitoes and bugs. But that's how you sell items when you want people to come and, and live in your state. He called it La Florida. From this first episode of Spanish Exploration, Florida Atlantic Coast formed the earliest battleground for European control of the North American continent. During the 16th century, French and Spanish adventurers and explorers waged bloody disputes for domination of this land. A Frenchman, Jean Revolt, explored the St. John's River in 1562 and in 1564. French Huguenots built Fort Caroline on a meadow beneath St. John's Bluff. The next year, the Spanish governor of Florida, Pedro Menendez, led a command of Spanish soldiers and settlers to establish a settlement in St. Augustine. So St. Augustine came second. The French at Fort Caroline reacted by sailing south to attack the settlement, but their fleet was destroyed in a storm and the Spanish murdered the survivors. The Spaniards then traveled north to destroy Fort Caroline and kill all remaining French. Spain's brutal elimination brutal elimination of the French challengers established their rule in Florida for two centuries. In 1763, Spain gave up Florida to the British in exchange for Havana, Cuba. The British developed the region, established farms and plantations along the St. John's River. The King's Road was the first highway in East Florida, built to connect the new British colony with older colonies to the north. Although Florida colonists were staunchly loyal to the British during the American Revolution, Britain returned the colony to Spain after the war. By then, a dubious value to Spain, Florida became a battleground for bandits, pirates, revolutionaries, and American adventurers who invaded East Florida at will. American settlers in Florida ultimately sought annexation by the United States. First efforts were unsuccessful, but in 1818, Major Andrew Jackson pursued marauding Seminole Indians across the border between the Republic of East Florida into West Florida and occupied Pensacola. When the U.S. took possession of Florida in 1821, Jackson became first territorial governor and namesake of the city of Jacksonville. So Jacksonville, this area here, was actually called Calford and then later became known as Jacksonville to thank Andrew Jackson for his efforts in calming down the Seminole Indians. This area between the two banks is the area that was called Calford. And it was called that because it was the place at low tide that cows could cross, that wagons and cows could cross. So of course it was called Calford on the map. At a later date, back in this direction to the north, back behind the landing, 
That was where the original town was developed of Jacksonville. All right, well, I am gonna wrap this one up. Thank you for watching my video. If you're coming to Jacksonville to visit, or coming to stay, this is a great experience to run the bridges. A lot of people know what that means. And basically, we have two bridges that are back-to-back -back that you can run. Um, they have pedestrian walkways on the Acosta and on the Main Street Bridge. We'd love to have you come visit Jacksonville, and we'd love for you to stay. Thank you for watching our video.